on Full Throttle Saloon, it's Jackal Night. A little bit of Jackal! Oh! And while Michael may have derailed one of Jesse's stunts... Get that son bitch out of here. The old dog still has one more trick up his sleeve. Plan B is about to kick in. I start seeing the last song going, and he starts leaving the stage. And I start looking, what's going on? Top this, killer! Get me out of here. But Michael's not going to take it lying down. Jesse's going to get his ass handed to him. I'm ready for World War III over these stunts. Come here. We just found a box. It has Jesse's name on it. I think it has explosives in it. Explosives? For yeah. sure. 100%. Let's go up there and see what the f he's up to. I knew he's going to pull some tonight. I knew Jesse wasn't going to stick to his word and, and not do any studs. Read right here. Read right here, Mr. Ballard. Pa pow So here's the deal. The beginning of the night, the intro tape will roll and play the animation, OK? The best part about tonight's show is the intro. The cartoon that we're going to run, it's got Angie, it's got Mike in there saying, no stunts, no stunts. It's going to be awesome. And after that animation plays, screw that screen goes dark, then there'll be some stuff get into, there'll be some props that are going to get put into place. And then right at the end of the cartoon, the screen goes dark, there's the box in front of the drum riser. Three, two, one. Get this show off with a bang. We cannot miss it. It's got to be up and it's got to be ready to go. Let's get the guys together. Let's get it. I want to get it plumb off the property where he can't get his hands on it no more. He left a box of explosives on my property. That's crossing the line with me. There's a reason he's got it covered up with a tarp. Head back here behind the bunkhouse. Get it out of here. Get it out of here before he sees what we're doing. OK, guys, so do you, you understand, what, again, what we got going on? Everybody got it then? OK. Get that son bitch out of here. I can't wait to see the look on his face when he finds out that Mike Ballard stole that box. Y'all been having a good time out here at the rally this year, yeah? Yeah, that is what I'm talking about. Y'all like Southern Rock? I want y'all to put your hands together. The next guy's coming up. This is Jesse's son. Make a lot of noise for Mr. Nigel Dubree from Kennesaw, Georgia, to kick your in ass. Sturgis 2012, yay! Yeah. So we should start things off proper and have a drink together. Are you with me, yeah? Are you down to do a drink with me? One thing about Jack, when they bring a drinking crowd, they're drinking like fish right now. To a good night of rock and roll, and keeping it going all night till the sun comes up. My bar manager is still a little worried. They're saying we may get our ass handed to us. A lot of people get drunk, partying, out of control. My attention. Michael gets word from his surveillance team that one of his bartenders may be ripping him off. This one. What is she doing? I don't know. Just the people that Jesse brought. I know, but I'm just telling you that it's awful. Oh. I always worry about girls stealing from me, but if they do, we'll catch them. We added 16 new cameras this year, so we're, we're up to a little over 40 cameras on the property now. I'm going to have Senior and Pat keep an eye on her. You know, I've seen every type of thief here at the throttle. You know, I need to keep a close eye on her. If you think you're going to steal from me, you've got another thing coming. I'm really excited to see Vaunt. Bree and I have known each other a long, long, long time. We love each other. We're family. show 
was amazing. When you come to the throttle, you're gonna get screwed, black and blued, tattooed, and we're gonna get a little bit nude. And that always happens, and it's always amazing, and it's always fun, and I freaking eat that up. I just love it. That's what we love about this place. Peanuts at. I love nights like tonight. I mean, the, the whole band's got an energy about it. Jesse, two minutes. We're ready. Let's do it. This is going to be the damnedest intro we've ever had. I can't wait to see everybody's face because it's not just going to go pa pow. This thing's going to go ka <laughs> boom. I've been recording his voice every time he's saying, no stunts, no stunts. And I put it to a cartoon. Oh, typical Jesse, center of attention all the time, Mr. Rockstar. You're not doing any more stunts on a full throttle property. You want to do a stunt, take your butt across the road and jump off the top of that tent over there. <laughs> you know, after watching this cartoon, I know exactly what Jesse's plan was. But you know what? His papal box is gone. Boxes go and the videos run. Do what? The box is gone. I don't know where it's at. What the? F I don't know. Did y'all put it anywhere else? We ain't touched Whoa. it, Jesse. What the? F where did you? Did Randy then move it after y'all put it up here? Ballard, Ballard, who do you think, Ballard? Shut that door! I could walk through a brick wall right now. The f***ing box gone, the intro tape's rolling. There's no chance to reboot. What the f*** do you do? You better run! Game on! I know exactly what Jesse's plan was, but you know what? It didn't happen because his papal box is gone. Damn it. Damn it. You better run. Are you kidding me? No. I had it all planned out. When that cartoon ended, the box was going to blow, and then Jackal Stock would be kicking ass full tilt. But Michael Ballard had to go and ruin it. I need my mic. I need my mic. I need my mic. Where's my mic? I need. Hand me my mic. So I'm out there jamming. I look over there, and Michael Ballard sitting there grinning like a mule eating briars. The rock star bartenders definitely were a saving factor in, in opening the show up. The crowd loved them coming out and dancing with us. I'm still thinking what's gonna happen here. Like what's gonna start exploding or whatever. It just seems so surreal. Like there's no way that this is just like happening. We were all just up there performing together. Everything went off without a hitch and it was just a really great experience. It was a great intro. I'm very proud of it in spite of Michael Ballard. I got Jesse by the ass this time. He thought he was going to pull one over on us this year, but we got him. Michael Ballard may have won that battle, but this war is far from over. Oh.
Listen up. You ain't at home anymore. I want you Georgies to realize you ain't in Kansas anymore. You out here in the Black Hills, baby. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Jackal's Bar and Grill right about now, baby. This is Jackal Stock Family Night right here at the Full Throttle Saloon. And that means the Flock Girls, they family too. There's 11 right there, and that's it. She only put in 11. She's under charge of She's not You know, either this girl has no idea what she's doing or she's ripping me off. Either way, her ass is gone. This bartender, I'm thinking she's under ringing this the deal and keeping a dollar for every drink. Instead, all the registers are programmed wrong. I can't imagine how much money we've lost tonight on these registers. whips the crowd into a frenzy. Security has its hands full outside. Copy, I need you guys to start patrolling the crowd. Oh. Do you want to get put in handcuffs? You no, don't no. Don't try no. to get me. See you, bro. He's so quiet. They're so chilling. Whatever, man. Hey, 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 find the bar. Hey! Listen, halfway down, swing and fight. Stop! Now! Shoot! Hit me, Shoot! That's it, stop! Coming up. It's been an incredible show. We're down to the final number. Plan B is about to kick in. Top this, killer! I should have known it. I should have known that there was something else. We're going to ride tonight, baby! This is Jackal's Battlefield, and I'm always going to win that war. And later, Michael lays down the law to Jesse. That boy wants to kill himself, and for some reason, he's got this heart on to do it on my property. Bigger battery was kicking! <laughs> Stop. Let's go. That's it. Stop. Now stop. You understand me? Yes or no? Get in the car now. Yeah. Move away a little bit. Get in. Get in. He's chilling right now. He's chilling right now. 
Yeah. He's chilling right now. I'm talking fist going and everything. Where's the other guy? <laughs> Banging him up. I haven't been uh, drinking or nothing. Hang on. Who's Rocky Balboa in here? Her. That girl's got a crazy nasty right hand. Yeah. I'm combative. Just lay down and be calm. Jeez. You're a piece of hey. shit. Up, please. Then get you off. Just stay there, Joe. Just stay there a minute. I am, but just get up. You're drilling my arm in stones. The beast. Slowly get up. What's the problem? There is no problem. There is a problem, because when I came here, you're acting crazy as cat. Good. There's people attacking me in my van. Go to the pickup. Go to the pickup. I'm a doctor. Ask some questions. Right here. Can I talk to someone in private? Go right over here. All right, right? come on. Me and you. Just you guys, come on. You're fine. Come you're fine with it. All right, bro. Sleep on tomorrow. Okay. We're doing this quick. Okay. Okay? That's all. All right. All right, well, there was no disrespect. There was no fight. Uh, don't come rocking if the van starts yeah, knocking. Can, they came. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, I got you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Get her two daughters, the boyfriend, yeah. like, they're, they're going to take care of them, okay? Because yeah. they, they know what's yeah. going on. And they're yeah. gonna take... You need medical attention right now? No. You're good to go? You're not hurt? You're not injured? You're not bleeding or anything like that? All right. Just banging the mother. Okay. I'm letting you go. Thank you. Yep. Thank you. All right, have yep. a good night, bro. The girl, you're bang the, the girl you're banging is their mom. Yeah, I know so that. So they took it a little further. Yeah, that's cool, but... You went in Danny Terrio mode with the gold chains doing your thing. Yeah. All right, solid gold. It's Rock in the world. All right. That's all. Okay. Michael heads to the office to get answers about the problem registers. Listen, Liz. Everyone in race department ran wrong. Where? I just went up and, and up on the deck, and they're charging 11 bucks for a double. That's, no, wait a minute. No, that's what it's been. It should have been 12, though. If you buy a double, you save two bucks. Mixed drinks are seven bucks. Double would be 14, minus oh, two would be 12. Well, wait a minute. I found out all the registers are programmed wrong. I got to make up the difference in that loss. The list, see, I had 12 initial, uh, initially, whatever, but I don't know who programmed all the things, but they've been 11 all week. That's what they just told me. You know, something like this could make us come up short this year. I got 10 days to make my money, and we just spent eight days with the register ringing the wrong way. We need to figure something out and fast. It's one thing to be able to go out and throw a pitch with your son or put a model car together, but how many fathers get to say they get to go up on stage in front of thousands of people and jam out some rock and roll? I'm so proud of my son, and to be able to do that is just it's the most killer thing ever. I've known Nigel a long time, and, and he's all big and grown and everything now, but to me, he's still just little Nigel. I'm just so proud of him. He's really turned into this great professional rock star, and he just totally proved it up on that stage. God bless you, people. to make it to the full product. No problem, because we're bringing the full product saloon to you. Full product! At 9, The Rock presents Johnny Dare's Birthday Bash. Toronto Fest, the 24th, 25th, and 26th in downtown Kansas City at Brooklyn Riverfront Park. Angie walks in. I'm listening to this ad that Johnny Dare cut from Kansas City. I know that she's worried now because she thinks we're going to postpone our wedding. I'm going to go capitalize on this night. Is that the same one? No, it's why, why'd you turn it down? What does it say? You must have already listened to it. I haven't listened to it. I just, you know, I'm just I'm too tired to listen to it. I have made it very clear we are not going to Kansas City because we are getting married. What I don't understand, Michael, is why didn't Jesse just call you? Like, how, how do you just like, oh yeah, we can do all that, like this big, huge production, and not even call you about it? Angie's upset because we're supposed to get married right after the rally, and she sees Kansas City as that we're putting this stuff off. 
I know what it is, and I, 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 I get it to a degree. He just went and did it and committed us to it, to doing it. Are you talking yourself into it right no, now? No, I'm not talking myself into it. I'm just saying I know kind of what he was doing. Because it feels like you're talking me into it right now. It totally feels like you're talking me into it. I'm just so tired of putting us on the back burner time after time after time. I know that she's been put on the back burner a lot, but I've got a lot to think about, but I still gotta, I gotta have this out with Jesse. We gotta get to the end of this. I'm like to the point where I can't have babies no more because all the eggs are guy, like gone. More than a decade, 989 to watch Johnny Depp morning show as broadcast live from the world's biggest biker rally inside the that the Full Throttle Saloon and Jackal are about to do something on this stage that has never been done before. These three men right here, they are about to come United States Marines. Ladies and gentlemen, first junior. Ladies and gentlemen, silence please, while these men here take one of the biggest steps in their life that we all are very grateful for. Raise your right hands and keep up to me. I state your full name. Do you solemnly swear? Do you solemnly swear? To support and defend? To support and defend? The Constitution of the United States of America. Constitution of the United States of America. States of America. You can kick out a great rock and roll show, and you can feel all high and mighty about yourself, but when you're standing there and you're watching these young men get sworn into uniform and become United States Marines, it's a very, very humbling experience. Against all enemies, foreign and domestic. Against all enemies, foreign and domestic. <laughs> but I will obey the orders. I the orders of the President of the United States. The President of the United States. So help me God. So help me God. So help me God! Ladies and gentlemen, I give you six United States Marines! Just watch the crowd and the faces in the crowd and and it, it breathed America. I've never seen anything like that before. I witnessed it before. What an honor. What an honor. Thank you, gentlemen, so very much. Thank you so much. It makes me so proud. That was for all of, the, all of our branches out there, the Air Force, the Army, the Navy, the Coast Guard, even, even Todd Love. Todd, come out here. Come out here. Well, ladies and gentlemen, a hero came back from Afghanistan. A, a bigger man. He came back a bigger man. He's wrestled alligators, he's skydiving, he's not letting anything hold him back. And he needs to continue to search out the freedoms. We're going to give him another freedom right now. We're going to hand it over to Todd. We have all pitched in right here. Ladies and gentlemen, Todd Love, get up there, wrap us out your brand new motorcycle, baby! Last year, I knew I was gonna be part of the show, and this year I thought I was just coming out to have have a good time. Next thing you know, I'm on stage, and damn, I was, I was not expecting that at all. You like it? I love it. What you gonna do with it? I'm gonna drive it. You gonna ride the hell out of it? Can't stop my music. There you go. You know, it feels good knowing that the Full Throttle has the chance to give back to our veterans. It's just so important to us. You got something to say? Thank you, Billy Madassi. I'm pissed off at you, but come here, you grinning son of a bitch. Get out. Ladies, and, ladies and gentlemen, your host for the evening, Mr. Michael Ballard. Hey, I just want to give a shout out and a toast to Danny Montanelli. He was a guy that loved the Full Throttle Saloon. This is his daughter, Nicole. We lost him in February. 
He loved this place. He was from Gulf Shores, Alabama. He always made the pilgrimage up to Sturgis every year, and he loved it. I'm sorry we lost him, but he's, this is his home. We love him. Thank you guys for coming out tonight. We really appreciate it. Nicole's here. She's been through a lot of crap this week. Everybody's wrapped their arms around her and embraced her this week. And, and it's sad that her dad passed away, but it's great that he loved the full throttle. And it's great that she's here experiencing it. And Michael brings this Nicole girl out there with him and then dedicates the night to her father, who left him a million dollars. Hard to believe. I said, I ain't jacked my little bit. But you know, I like to jack it quite often. Because if it feels good, if it feels good, if it feels good, I ain't Jack Mullen with them. She's my chain show. It's been an incredible show. We're down to the final number. Crowd's incredible. How could I not be loving every minute of it? You know, it feels good knowing that Jesse ain't gonna have any stunts this year. Well, he don't do this anywhere else in the whole country. Only at the full throttle Thursday night is he wanting to blow himself up. I'm just glad that that's over with. Ballard's still over there, like he's gotten one over on me. He's just, just basting in that fact that he stole my exploding box. But now, he don't know what's about to hit him. Plan B is about to kick him. Here we go. Here we go. Duh. I'm going on your shoulders. Duh. Come on. Come on. And then I start seeing the last song going, and he starts leaving the stage. And I start looking, what's going on? Go right through there. Let me up. Come on. Come on. It's the end of the show, and I got one more little trick up my sleeve just to make sure that this year is bigger and better. Are you ready, boy? Top this, killer. Get me out over here. Oh, yeah, come on, take me over there. And then I realized. Get me out over here. There's another part to it. I should have known it. I should have known that there was something else. Here we go. 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 You ready? All right. Here we go. Oh, yeah. We got a ride tonight, baby. We got a ride full throttle. There's a motorcycle on a high wire with a girl hanging off the bottom. How in the hell did that bike get up there and nobody told me about it? Well, I hope everybody out there's had a great night. And I want you to get it on. And I wish every single one of you can have a screw. <laughs> Kick it, boy. What are you waiting on? I'm going to be OK. Don't, don't slay down. Where did he even practice this at? I don't know if the guy even practiced it. I doubt if he ever even done it. Kind of like shooting out of the cannon. He wouldn't even go out of the cannon until just that one time.
cannot believe how big of a fool this guy is. That boy wants to kill himself. And for some reason, he's got this heart on to do it on my property. Even though Michael Ballard won the battle, he hasn't won the war. This is Jackal's battlefield, and I'm always going to win that war. And we did it all right underneath everybody's nose. Thank you so much, Frankie! Thank you so much. Yeah! We're even. You... <laughs> You got me. Come on, Jesse. You're such a jackass. Bigger battery. It was kicking. No, I'm not. I knew you were up to something. Are you I can walk through a brick wall right now. <laughs> so what was that like? It was an adrenaline rush, guy. So we get backstage and everybody's asking, how in the hell did you pull off that high wire act? That was awesome. That I was told you. Great. Kick ass. One of the hardest things I've ever done is keeping this stunt a secret. To be able to pull this off and nobody know about it, not even the band, it was an amazing feat. One for Mike Ballard, 2012. One for me. Did you know it was going to no, I didn't. You lied. I swear to God, man. Jesse's going to get his ass handed to him. I'm pissed over this one. <laughs> the look on his face. He just knew he'd gotten over us. Yeah, but that's up, man. What? What, him stopping our first thing? It's all fun and games until somebody steals your exploding box. I'm mad at him. Look, he's got the camera. What's this Show him, buddy. <laughs> I'm pissed off. Coming up. Hey, security. Oh, sucks ass. A drunk patron picks a fight with security. Oh, right, oh, next step is the ground, bro. The next step is the ground. And later, I want to talk to you. Michael confronts Jesse over his secret stunt. The last thing I want to do is get into some damn fire breathing argument. They called me out at, I was out at 6 45 in the morning. So Ballard comes into the green room after the show. We're all throwing down and celebrating and such, but I can tell he is not happy. Matter of fact, he looks pissed. All right, I'm going to bar. Say what's up. With our main bar, we have a system, and for some reason, some of them are ringing up doubles, some of them are ringing doubles. To keep Michael from losing any more money, Steve-O starts reprogramming all the registers. Oh, you know Michael's not happy. When, it, when he's losing money anywhere for any kind of reason, when technology fails us, yeah, that's definitely not a happy Michael Ballard. Hey, double up for me, 12 dollars. You, you white cracker. 
You know, I've never seen a crowd like this before, ever. Even with the problems with our cash registers, we've made up a lot of ground today. Our tills are through the roof. This is the biggest night we've ever had in history. That's phenomenal. Right now, we're gonna have a massive push uh, to get everybody off the establishment. Go, guys, bring them up. We just gotta go home. Bring them up. <laughs> hey, security oh, sucks yeah. ass. Yeah. Gee, I just wanted to drink my beer in peace. Yeah. And they, they made me chug my beer and I didn't get chug at all. Let's go, come on, come on. Bro. Okay. He asked an individual to vacate tonight. Hey, security oh, sucks yeah. ass. Gee, oh. I just wanted to drink my beer in peace. Yeah. And they they made me chug my beer and I didn't get chug at all. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Okay. He asked an individual to vacate tonight. Uh, it was 2 a.m. We're, we're done having fun. I mean, the bar is closed. I just tried to chug my beer and you let me chug it. Keep it moving. Hey, you gotta go that it's, way. It's closing time. People don't want to leave. They want to party all night long. But we got laws. We gotta abide by. Why are you guys pushing me? Because we're on private go property. Why? I'm not a private. I'm on. Hey. Okay. Okay. Hey, look, 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 look. Go. Hey, 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 wrong, wrong way, Galvin. Hey, no, 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 okay. I'm gonna go over here. Go over here. Don't force me. Don't force me. Right, guys, our next step is the ground, bro. Yeah. Our next step is the ground. Stop resisting. Let's go. There's a place to party and have a good time. When you take it too far, I mean, you're going to get in trouble. And that's the bottom line. Let's go. Let's skip. Come on. Let's skip. <laughs> I tried to skip with you. No, that hurts. No, I didn't want We can tell you're a good dude. That's not why you're not going to jail. No, I'm a good dude. All right, I'm going to let go of this hand. All right. All right, there you go. See you later, bud. All right. All right, we'll see you later, man. All right, okay. How you doing? <laughs> you got it, man. That's pretty cool, wasn't it? Boy. Did you see that crowd? Yeah, they were great. Come on. What, it, you're just going to get hurt. I'm just scared you're going to get hurt, dude. Man, I see you up there on that high wire. I see you different, doing the, just different things, and it just makes me scared. It makes me bruised. I feel incredible about tonight's show. I mean, we slam dunked it. Even though Michael foiled my first stunt, I was able to pull one out there at the end, and the show went incredible. Man, I'm telling you, it was, I, 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 I totally understood what we were doing. I had a, well, meet me in my office. I want to talk to you. The last thing I want to do is to go behind closed doors in his office and get into some damn fire-breathing argument. Dude, I, I, I totally had it down. I wouldn't. Security gets a call after the drunk patron they kicked off the property returns to the throttle. Stop fighting. Don't fight. Stop fighting. We told you you're off the property. I, I am. You did. I didn't know it was so serious. Yeah, you call me right. for failure to vacate. Oh, this guy's already. Put my glasses back on. We walk the individual all the way off the property and give him a ride across the street. Put him on. I am. Of course, he has to come back, and here we are with Meade County Sheriff's Department. And 2.45 in the morning and ready for an hour more paperwork. Thought I'd get out of paperwork tonight. Right, like how many times do you got to tell somebody to go? So now you're going to jail. Not a smart move, Galifianakis. Or they think at any point in time anyone's going to violate their fun or, or, or stop them from having a great time, they're going to act up and act crazy. I guess I'm just drunk and don't know better. Hey. Sorry. At least it's honest. This guy has cost me at least an hour and a half of my time. He's wasting the county's time. How many chances do you have tonight? I had to. Hangover part three. <laughs> Galifianakis goes to the full <laughs> throttle. I wish I could hear you. <laughs> I feel great about tonight's show. Even though Michael foiled my first stunt, I managed to squeak one out. 
Last thing I'm wanting to do is go into his office now and have some talk about stunts. What's up, dude? Man, I'm telling you, it, I had it dialed in. I had the insurance covered. Everything would be. If that's what you're wanting to get into me about, I promise I, you, I, everything I, I, was covered. I don't even want to talk about that. I want to talk about Kansas City. You saw this crowd. Right I know. Now. I know. The this is not a moment to go into. I know. It. I know what it is. You in? We're doing it, right? You know, you, are we or no? I'm in. I want to do it. <laughs> Thank God. Even though I, all this time I fought him on it, it's time to take the throttle fest on the road and give people experience around the country. And Kansas City is the best place to kick this off. But, I mean, I, I still hadn't sold it to Angie yet. I don't know how this is going to unfold, because Angie's not going to like postponing this wedding. It's not going to be a good thing for her. I got to give her what she's needing, too. Something where I have to just figure out how to mesh it. So, I don't know. I mean, I think it can all go hand in hand. Maybe, maybe we just. <laughs> We're good? Postponing this wedding. It's not going to be a good thing for her. I got to give her what she's needing, too. Something where I have to just figure out how to mesh it. So, I don't know. I mean, I think it can all go hand in hand. Maybe, maybe we just. <laughs> We're good? I gotta have a little bit of time to try to get it sold to her. But we're doing it, right? I think I wanna do it. I knew that Michael would come around about Kansas City. How could he not wanna go down there and expand the brand of the Full Throttle Saloon? And after a night like tonight, having those teals ringing like they were, he's got the fever. How are we gonna do it? Kansas City Throttle Kansas City. Let's do it. What I've gotta do now is figure out how to tell Angie that we're gonna go do this show and we're gonna have to postpone our wedding. I don't know how I'm gonna pull this one off. It's on. There's a lot of work to do, though. Next time on Full Throttle Saloon, when Michael starts losing control of the staff, he has to clamp down. I already paid you to be here for three days. You know, if I hire you to work for me, don't go looking for other revenue inside my business. Full Throttle proves to be too much for one unlucky patron to handle. Expedite that ambulance. Seven minutes. Man, wake up. Wake up right now. We don't have seven minutes here. How bad is this thing gonna be? And when it rains. Get those people under cover. It's gonna kill us tonight, God. It pours. Whoa, 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 whoa. Get in there! Hey! If this fire gets out of control, it can burn my whole entire business to the ground. So I need saws and hammers. Somebody bring me some tools. I got nervous when I seen the water hose up there because it was electrical fire. Ow. All the and we're not getting married.